Ridge, you spelled financially wrong, brother. And if I tried that, Sally, it would be a big old glob. Whoa! This is awesome, Jelly Nut. They want me dead. I'm deleting my YouTube. I'm like, wait, wait, what? <laughs> I love that transition. I've never, Rob, I've never seen the forehead bump transition. Dave Ramsey is never wrong, but not always right. So this video is 11 minutes. I don't know if I'll play the entire thing. We'll, we'll have to play that by ear, but here we go. I actually saw this video. I want you guys to watch it with me. Never wrong, but he's not always right. Hey, how are you? <laughs> oh my gosh, hi Dave. Sure, what's up? Um, oh, I just, you have no idea like how awesome you are i mean like everything you do is just it's, it's perfect <laughs> it, it just is um there's like nothing you can do that's wrong um i've been to every one of your one of your classes okay i'm gonna pause it here for just a second classes i've read all your books um um you're just amazing <laughs> there's nothing you can do that's wrong you're you need to see a counselor you, darling uh -huh. oh uh, yeah. You need to get some guidance because you're, We've you're all trying to be Ridge. sweet and you're trying to believe it, and yet your brain, you, in your so heart. That. Um, <laughs> I'm actually, um, no, I'm actually going to be starting a uh, church of uh, Dave Ramsey. Um, um, it's just not normal. Normal people don't do this crap. Uh, uh, okay? <laughs> I mean, if you, it, it, there's all kinds of weird stuff out there that's perverted and all that, but I'm talking about normal people. Uh huh. You are crazy. Uh, there's really no in between. Yeah, of course. Because everything you say is everything you say is everything you say is right. So, <sighs> all right, thank you. <sighs> okay. <laughs> all right. So, if you watched one of my videos a while back, I talked about the hook. Okay, that that you should be putting on really all of your videos, you guys. And what I meant by that was um, the... Now, this one was a bit long. Uh, if I had anything to critique about this uh, ridge, which it, it was really well done. Your acting is tremendous. Um, the way you edited it together with uh, your comments and then his you know, comments, making it tell a story um, was, was fantastic. My only thing would be maybe it was a little long and maybe what you could have done was do a shorter clip off the top, you know, 10 seconds, what have you, get to your open and then you could have continued on with it um, or somehow changed it around. That being said, it makes you watch for, what was it, a minute and a half. And so if people are into that content, you've automatically just earned yourself you know, a minute and a half worth of, uh, of viewing time and chances are they're going to continue to watch it. So yeah, I, you know, he then goes into a little bit more, uh, technical stuff. Your watch time of this video was 49%. So that is actually really good. Um, in fact, really good Ridge. I, you know, that's something that, that is really challenging to get that retention time up over 50%. I don't think I have many, if, if any, well, I might have a couple that are over that, but typically my videos wind up in that 30 to 40, sometimes 40 to 45% range. So 49% is really, really good. Let's, let's watch a little bit more. Okay. Hi, oh, here. oh, 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 Ridge, 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 Ridge. Oh, boy. Now, you know I'm a news guy. Um, not that we don't do this all the time, but you know where I'm going with this, Ridge. You got to proofread your stuff. Hang on. And I've made this mistake before, actually. Does anybody see anything wrong with that right there? Yeah. Ridge has made two films available on Amazon, feature films. Ridge, you spelled financially wrong, brother. 
You know, I'm not going to harp on it. Look, I spelled Christmas wrong on my son's, uh, the, the, the rap rage thing that I did. And it drove me nuts because I didn't notice it until after it had already got a hundred views and I wasn't going to go changing it. And down, I had, I would have had to re download it at that point or re upload it. Um, okay, not going to harp on that. Here we go. Now, is it the best? Of course not, but it's not. I want to point something else out here uh, that I really like about Ridge. And actually I've, um, I've copied this a little bit, uh, in my, um, in some of my videos, he uses two cameras, which is super cool. Did you see that? How he, he turns to another camera. Now it makes it a little bit, um, it makes it a little bit more challenging when you're editing cause you got to sync things up, but he's actually done videos on how to do that. It's not that hard. Uh, it's just a little extra work. But it really gives it a professional, cool look, doesn't it? When you can, when you can turn to that other camera and um, kind of makes it look big time, if you will. So, Ridge, uh, I think you're doing great. One of the nice things about Ridge's videos, they really do offer something to the viewer too. Like his content always has um, something of value to you, the viewer. And he does it in a very entertaining way, which you know, isn't always easy to do, you guys. I mean, to offer somebody, to offer somebody advice and content and um, news they can use to to talk news talk, sometimes that can be hard to do in an entertaining way. In fact, most of the times it is. So the fact that he's able to do that really, really says a lot. Um, Ridge, I think you're doing great. I uh, really recommend your channel to folks. Um, you need some financial advice, which right now, <laughs> tell you what, uh, couldn't we all use that? Then he's a great guy to follow. Hey, do you want to simplify your filming process so you can be more productive? Well, this channel is dedicated to helping you simplify filming. So don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget also, always be creating. Always be creating, and that is uh, Ridge's tagline there that he um, that he uses on a lot of his videos, and I like that a lot. By the way, Ridge, um, it's great. It's a great marketing, uh, you know, tagline, a slogan, if you will. Ridge, I would say, I would say that. I mean, it certainly uh, explains what that channel is going to be all about, which is which is what you want. And so good job there. I like it when you do your little, they're almost like outtakes. And um, you did just one in there. And it really showcases your um, personality because you're a pretty funny guy, I think, it by, uh, you know, just normally. And so I would have liked to have seen a couple of more of those in that trailer. And maybe one early on just to kind of set the tone for, who you are, unless you're going for a different feel or a different look with that channel, which uh, certainly could be the case. Um, take these off. But otherwise, nicely done. I mean, you could always add a little bit more in the in the um, in terms of video or graphics or things like that to jazz it up a little bit. But you know, you're trying to be simplified. That's the whole thing. So, you know, in that respect, you don't want to do too much. But yeah, I would just maybe. And I'm not saying you need to redo it, but just I would be thinking about that because when I'm watching your videos, Ridge, I really enjoy it when you go off script, if you will, a little bit. And maybe those bits are scripted to some extent, but but I think that is what makes you unique and you, uh, you. And so don't be afraid to put those in, okay? Um, but awesome. And I subscribed I, uh, to your second channel there. Did not realize that you were endeavoring in that. So that's fantastic. Sally, you can see uh, over 2,000 subscribers. And again, just a great supporter. Let's watch. I did try moving my overhead setup up as much as I can and still be able to see. So she has a fixed camera so can make that looks down at her too. work. So I will from which is really cool. Just do one of these mm -hmm. and give you the whole. 
See, look. see how aware um, she is of, of the way it's set up, you guys? I mean, that's somebody who knows what they're of, doing that's um, done a lot of this. After a Tony Bur and I'm going so let's to get to where she's, um, see how tone, she's explaining the different things that she's going to do. I, I, did a, I did a video about storytelling. Anyway, you want to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. Here's her beginning. She's explaining what she's about to do. Okay. Now watch her work. Now she obviously speeds up the video. In this particular video, it looks like she's uh, chosen not to use any type of uh, uh, music here. I know, I, I believe, Sally, sometimes you do. I could be wrong on that. Um, but you can see uh, just every, I mean, basically she shows you the entire thing just sped up. It was like and if I tried that, Sally, it would be a big old glob all over the place. I'd have I'd have paint over in here where it shouldn't be. And yeah, you're so skilled. Steady hand, you guys. Sally Van Nuys, uh, look at that. Just beautiful. Mixed media. So finish, let's take a look at the finished product here. How she wraps it up. Being offered, there's a lot of them out there. Wow. So if you're interested, go pick around. So thanks for joining me. If you haven't subscribed to my channel. I so see guys, Sally is just super, super low key. She's friendly. She talks you through her videos. You see the entire process. Look, I don't know a lot about, um, you know, acrylics and art and canvases, but you can, so you can certainly appreciate the work that she's doing there. And she really has a niche and a great following and, and really is an incredible talent. So Sally, if I were to, you know, offer any constructive criticism, again, this is not my, my genre as far as, uh, you know, videos go, as far as I'm concerned, what you're doing, if I'm into creating artwork like this, the way you're doing it really does show me everything. You know, now if I wanted to get, uh, if I, maybe I would want to get to know you a little bit more. Um, maybe I'd want to see you, uh, maybe, you know, a little bit. Is there any way you could add a face cam? And maybe that's not your thing and that's okay. It, you know, being on camera isn't for everybody and it's not necessary, but you know, as you, as you make these connections with your, with your viewers, they might feel a little more connected if they got to see you, even if you popped it in from time to time, you know, to tell, a, uh, as you're doing this, maybe you could tell a quick story about something that happened to you while you were creating this or during your daily routine or, you know, a life event that you're okay to share and you pop, not full, doesn't even have to be full. You could continue it over, you know, you could be, you could have it on a separate edit where you're still seeing you create the art even but instead of fast forwarding it you have a camera shot there where you tell a story anyway that would be something maybe you could dabble with if you're into that but as far as just getting across what it is that you are trying to accomplish i think you're i mean who am i to tell you how to do it uh the shot is steady it's good you're aware of what you can see and what you can't see in the shot and um you explain it all i think I think obviously you're you're doing it right. So Sally says some. I, I mentioned the music. She says um, she's asked her subscribers if they like it with or without, and many say they prefer no music. Okay, so there's a great example of Sally being proactive, asking her subscribers, "Hey, what do you guys want?" Because ultimately it's for them, right? And that's the consensus that she's getting. So that is awesome. I love that you do that. Um, yeah, great point by Rob here. Sees a lot of channels that put videos up and then they drop the music in and they blast out the audio. So you got to get the levels right. And that that all comes down to editing and, you know, look, yeah. Um, sometimes, sometimes it's hard to, I don't know. When I'm editing, I, I have my headphones on and 
yeah, you can hear it and that's a good gauge, but you also want to pay attention to those levels. If your, your editing program hopefully has a, a V what they call a VU meter and it shows you, you know, the, uh, well, I mean, you can see it actually, um, here, you can see it in, in my stream. So like, that's my, that's my blue Yeti microphone that I, that I have. And you know, see how I'm popping up into the yellow. I don't mind that too much. If it's over modulating, I'm sure you guys will tell me it shouldn't be at that level. You don't want it going up into the red. But one of the things I've found with this when I live stream is it actually comes through the stream a little bit less than what I'm seeing on my VU meter. So I'm okay popping that up a little bit. You know, I could drop it way down here and then that's, you guys are, you'll probably still hear me, but it's, it's not optimal. You know, I could go way up here and now I'm going to be over modulated and too hot and that's no good. You don't want that. So I like to have it just kind of popping into the yellow a bit. Um, and if, you know, if, if something happens in it and you get excited and it over modulates for a, a quick second, it's not the end of the world, not ideal, but not the end of the world. So you put the long stretches of sped up footage to, to music. That's good, Sally. Yeah, that makes sense. Your audio is through your iPad. Really? It's not bad. You have a lapel mic for voiceovers. So, I mean, audio is really important, Sally. And, and you know, given what you're doing, yeah, what you're doing is a, is a visual process, but it's also, um, you know, you're talking through it. So I would say your audio is fine because you're doing it in a quiet setting. And so there really aren't um, any outside distractions, which can sometimes be the issue when you're doing your audio off of your phone or your iPad or things like that. Um, you'll certainly get a, a deeper, like fuller sound if you use an external microphone. I know a lot of, uh, a lot of people talk about the road mics are really good. Some type of a shotgun mic. Um, I have a blue Yeti microphone here but again it's set up where this is really designed for a setting like this a setting like what you're doing quite frankly if you had a um a microphone like this your audio quality would be better but um it's all a matter of of making sure that it connects properly which it should this is a usb mic it hooks right up to my computer through usb the computer recognizes it i'm sure your laptop would too so iPads obviously don't have that um, capability. So depending on how you're recording these videos, that's what's going to make the difference. You know, if, if you're using an iPad to record, well, no, you're using a camera. So do you have your camera hooked up to a computer, uh, Sally? Um, or are you just recording simply through the camera? So because you need to be able to hook the microphone up to something, if that makes sense. You're filming with an iPad camera, but the iPad has a mic input. Oh, yeah, that might just be a headphone jack, Sally. I don't recall seeing iPads that have a mic input, and so I don't think, I don't think that'll work. But that's okay. You're you're fine. Just make sure that you continue to do it how you're doing it, where you're in a nice, quiet setting, and your audio sounds fine. I I wouldn't even I wouldn't even stress about it. Jelly Duck 100. While I play this, I'm going to go get another cup of coffee. Let me make sure that I have my screen right. Okay, I do. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Jelly, Duck, Jelly Duck's Dark Lightning Synth Wave. Oh, I like it. This is awesome, Jelly Duck.
Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. So, Jelly Duck. Dude. I don't know, guys. That, to me, was super impressive. I really, really liked that. Um, I want to use that on a video, if I could, Jelly Duck. I get permission to use that if I give you, uh, if I give you props? <laughs> that was incredible. Seriously. I... I I'm blown away. Jelly Duck, as far as a critique goes, man, I, I I mean, I don't even know how you do it. All I know is I like the music, and when it comes to um, when it comes to something like that, I don't think what we're seeing on the screen necessarily matters. But even with that being said, you you took it to another level. You had the the gaming video in the background that you you slowly brought up you had all of the things that were going on on the side which was you know again i don't really know what it is but it's cool so you added a visual element to what was already some really cool music and that is great cuz ultimately you know people are going to be looking at it because it's youtube and it's a video driven medium but uh you know i didn't even need to look at it though like i was just grooving to the tunes but i wanted to show you this okay it, you caught my attention evie with the title uh, they want me dead i'm deleting my youtube i'm like wait wait what no she's not and <laughs> so here let's play it hair looks awful and you are ugly So first things. Okay. Okay. So she totally gets your attention right off the top with that. First, guys, did you saw my new banner? Did you? Yes, we did. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, it it's is. The most beautiful thing I ever saw in my life. That is made by uh, my little goat. Goat 1408 TV, aka the King of America. And uh, here is his channel. Um, he's doing amazing wow. Look art. Look at that banner. Oh, I just realized that he has me in his favorite channels, but I don't know how you do that. Oh, look at that. He's so cute. Anyways, this is his channel. He has many videos. He's struggling with diabetes lately. So you can see that she did a little fine. collaboration with this channel, which is we can talk art. a little bit about collabs he too. He made but. a video for me also. It's uh, right here. I'm gonna pop it um, right here for you. Uh, go check him out, guys. Connect with him. Talk with him. He's an amazing person. I love him so much. He's one of the first people who started to support me since I was really, really beginner. He was literally my 48th subscriber and he's still here. And he always watches my videos. What's that right okay, now? Okay, so let's get to where she's doing her thing. By the way, it looks like Evie's using OBS in this video, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Evie. Comment my video. There is not even one video that you can't find the comment of him. I know you watch that right now. I love you so, so much. Thanks so much for your amazing gift. So, into the video. <laughs> As 
Okay. okay. <clears throat> Evie, uh, we are two minutes into this, and we're just now getting into the video. You caught us with the hook, okay? You caught us with the hook, but um, here's the thing. By now, a lot of people maybe that are that aren't followers of yours that are experimenting, looking around uh, channels, they may be gone. Okay, um, two minutes is a long time. Again, you caught us with the hook, but then you went into this collab with with um, with the person that did your channel art, which is great. But I think you went too long on that. And I know you're just trying to show them some love, and I totally respect that and uh, get it. But to do two minutes essentially off the top, you're going to lose a lot of people with that. And again, your videos get more views than mine, so I'm I'm uh, keeping that in mind. But just something to think about that if these are people that don't know you, don't know him, um, they're gone probably, right? After, after the first 30 seconds of hearing about this person. Maybe not, but that's just my, my experience. Okay, so that would be one thing. Keep it a little shorter, uh, or you could do your collaboration stuff at the end of the video because you want to keep people there, right? And also you could put that stuff in your description section um, as well. You don't have to do it all on camera. Okay. I don't, and my intro, I have a hater. And his I hate her. her name is. I hate you. Say. No. Look at that. Now, see, Evie. She talks about how she's not that um, creative and stuff, but she does some really cool things. Things that I don't know how to do. I don't know how to do stuff like that. I mean, I with my videos, I don't. I don't do things like that, and I like it. I like it a lot, but I just I don't know how, or I don't do it. So you're taking it up a notch by doing creative things like that, Evie. No more, I've got you. So uh, he or she started to leave me comments yesterday and uh, some of them I, I could see them, but some they, I could see them in the notifications, but when I opened them in the video, I couldn't see them, probably because it was spam. So the first comment yeah, was spam. the one from the intro. And it was a, the video which I pretend to cut my hair. And uh, he or she says, your hair looks awful. You are ugly. <laughs> Maybe I'm ugly. No. I never called myself pretty anyways. Guys, is Evie ugly? Comment in the, the, the stream here. No, she's not. Not at all. Beautiful woman. And so and, fun to uh, listen to. My hair looks awful. You don't like my hair? This you don't great. like it? The more you don't like my hair, this is the great. more you're gonna see my hair. You don't like my hair? I don't care. Look <laughs> at my hair. It's so awful, but I don't care. <laughs> I didn't ask your opinion. So, next. I mean, how good was that, you guys? How good was that? She gets this, she gets this hater and says, you know what? I didn't ask you. You don't like my hair? Boom. I love it. I love it. I got, let's watch a little bit more. Comment. It was at the video with the, me wearing my uh, kitesurf suit and uh, having a sour. You know, <laughs> daily stories right there. And he said, you are so fat. You don't even fit in the suit. I'm fat. Boy, people are... Let me show you how fat I am. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> just, just... So Where's the fat? fat. Where's Look the... at me. <laughs> I'm so fat. Look at my new shoes. They're so pretty. So yeah. I'm fat. I'm 54 kilos fat. I am 54 kilos fat and I'm 1 meter and 64 height. I'm <laughs> short also, not only fat. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Look. 
Uh, let me bring the comments back up. Evie, that, that is just such a great... I love what you did here, okay? I absolutely love it. Evie, this was just... This was so good. It's so... Here's the thing. It's so, like, authentic. And it's just your true reaction. And that's what people crave. People want real, you know? And it doesn't get much realer than that. Oh, you mixed two videos in the editing. Okay, Evie, well, very good. You you did a great job with that. I love how um, I love how you're doing that. And yeah, Sally says she loves your personality. I do too. And I think that it's, um, I mean, the accent doesn't hurt, <laughs> but just you're so you're so real. And um, it's uh, Rob says you're gorgeous. Yeah, whoever these people are are terrible judges of um, things. Yeah, you know what? When you get haters, guys, um, you should almost, it's to some extent, cherish that because it means that you're you're making content that is affecting people in certain ways, right? And you're not always going to make everybody happy. I mean, that's life. But if you're making content that that is driving enough passion for somebody to hate on you or to you know say love what you're doing, then you're on the right track and just cherish that she's got it she's got the she's got the it you know and people in my business talk about that a lot the it factor what is the it factor i you know it's hard to explain but you know it when you see it and uh, she's got it i don't think there's any doubt about that before i get to rob's video uh, evie if there's one thing i could suggest because again i'm i'm, I'm not just handing out compliments here i want to give you something you can work with Again, I love what you're doing with the um, with the editing. Um, maybe work on your background a little bit, okay? And I did a video on backgrounds that you can check out. Um, it's under my Media Authority playlist here on Rants with Rogers, or you can go to my channel, Media Authority, but it's called Backgrounds. And maybe try to come up with something other than just a plain wall that is a little more got a little more pizzazz to it you don't want it to be too much but watch that video and maybe think about that but i i mean just continue to to do what you're doing i love it when you come out with a new video i i always i always watch bringing the world good time since 1970 i'm assuming that's when you were born rob Okay, I'm going to pause it for a second. Um, now again, I, I don't, I'm not a metal detector guy. I, I uh, don't necessarily know how to do it, the ins and outs of it. Um, but I can tell you we're, we've seen a, a minute and 15 seconds of driving. And so I kind of want to get there and get into it, Rob. You know what I mean? Like, I, you're fun to listen to, and I could listen to you all day. I loved that transition, but like, I want to see, like, if I'm coming to this and I want to see some, uh, some metal detecting, and you're doing this for a charity, which is awesome, raised a bunch of bunch of money, uh, but I want to see you doing it. So let's see, how long does it take so before we? So we are. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to skip ahead. Okay, look. Um, get back to you. A bit. Oh, <laughs> I love that transition. I've never, Rob, I've never seen the forehead bump transition. Uh, that's, that's your thing, and I, I dig it. But look at this, you guys. We're three and a half minutes into this video, and we still, he's not even out of the car. Now, I'm sure in the process of that, there was some valuable information, but look, you're, you're editing this, so, you know, trim it down. Hit me with a, hit me with a, a hook at the beginning, Rob, like a funny comment that you made or something maybe while driving or even something later in the video. I reuse sometimes. I'll, I'll, if it's really good and I think that it's going to, um, and I think it's going to, to catch your attention, I'll, I'll use it at the beginning and still use it in its context later on in the video. 
But uh, this is a 14 minute, 45, 44 second video. And we have just spent a quarter of it in the car. Okay, so let's see what else we have. It's really nice video morning, quality. Sleep, That's so a good camera. Perfect. Let's drive to the dig. <laughs> what do you use, Rob? Oh, we had a good, good fire, good crack. Uh, uh, is it that much? <laughs> Two hours kit, and we're off metal detecting. So we'll catch you when we get there. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, now we're back in the car, and Rob's got a butt <laughs> smoking a butt. Jesus. Oh goodness, in the Hello, how you doing, sir? Good, good, good. I love your personality. It is great. And um, so if anybody could make five minutes of being in a car entertaining, it would be you. I just think that's too much. And I think that if you would get to, if, if somebody is, is looking for this video, you know, they're into metal detecting, right? Or maybe they're uh, they're from Sussex or they, you know, want to support homeless. Um, and they search this on YouTube. Uh, there's probably hundreds, if not thousands of other videos that, that are related to some of these topics, right? So are they going to spend five minutes watching you drive around or do they want to see you actually look for things? Okay. You have to think about that. It might shorten your video, but that's okay. Yeah. Um, your retention rate will go up and um, it'll be a better video. After many a moo tube and... Uh, so he's found something in there. What is it? This is great. I like this, Rob. I wanted more of this. Do you see what I mean? What is it? Okay, so my coin was... <laughs> that load of crap. <laughs> All right, well, we'll try that out in a second. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see, that was what I was waiting for, Rob, and I don't know if, if I'm new to your channel or what have you. I don't know if I'm getting that far. Does that make sense? Unless I'm like a super fan of yours, you know, somebody that, 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 that follows you, like, religiously. Sally says the audio was too low. I had trouble hearing, you know? Yeah, well, when you're, and that's another thing. If you're driving in the car with the windows open, there's a lot of ambient sound coming in. And so the audio isn't going to be as, as crisp. So yeah, audio was good. Otherwise just in the car. Yeah, Sally. And that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, you get, you get all that ambient noise. It's like Sally, when you're doing your videos, if, you know, if you had a bunch of kids running around and the dogs are barking and what have you, uh, you know, the dishwasher's running, then I have a mini fridge in my, here where I'm at. And I actually moved it into a different room because it would kick on and make noise all the time. I hate that. I, the, you know, the air comes on the, the heater or whatever. Um, all those things can add to, to your, your noise. So anything you can do to limit those Rob, look, I'm going to, you know what? Jelly duck just dropped the link. Let's let's take a look at this one. Okay, I already like this better because at least you've got some. I mean, you don't always have to have music. I just, I personally like it when you're seeing stuff like this. All right, we've arrived at our location. That all makes sense. We probably don't need this though. Do you see what I mean? Like, or you pick it up here from that previous edit where we see the museum and shop. I would keep driving shots, Rob, and this goes for most anybody. I don't think a shot should be longer than, honestly, than four or five seconds. That's something we utilize in the news business. Uh, I mean, unless you're really showing some kind of crazy action that takes longer than that. If it's just a scenic driving shot, give me four or five seconds and move on to the next to the next one. Your camera quality is really good, but I this isn't doing, you know what I mean? Like this isn't. Right, hello folk. Here we are in. 
Like I would have cut to you on camera, Rob. Um, again, we're a minute in. I would have cut. I would have. I would have established that you are arriving at the scene of your search, and then I would have cut to this. Eastbourne, um, after the charity dig, and I slept where those two people are, and then woke up <laughs> to this <laughs> man park run thing so i'm gonna go and do some detecting on the beach it's um plenty of beach but yeah kept this one and they started putting speakers up and stuff and all doing a fun run so that was a good alarm call for the morning it's a great looking beach This is good. Man, I can already tell you, Rob, I like this video a lot more. Okay? I mean, those things I mentioned... Well, we're on the beach now. The, and we've got the first signal. We're right in front of the um, uh, beach huts. I mean, Some you didn't spend as there. much time getting the to the good stuff. The is pretty hard. But I've got something... Ooh, something very... Close. I want to skip ahead and see how you're ending your videos, Rob. Just the last two. I mean, I know what's going to happen here. You're going to be searching for stuff, and it's great, and you're commenting, and I love it. How are you? How are you finishing these videos? So anyway, brilliant time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, like, subscribe, and all that crap. And we're out. Take care. Boom. Okay. Good. 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 Okay. I like how you finished that up. Okay, so Rob, um, much better. Uh, and I, I uh, apologize for grabbing the wrong, the wrong video before, but that was that was better. Does does what does what I was saying, I guess, make sense, you guys, about getting to the point? Now you brought up, you brought up something um, that I want to talk about, and that is. That is, you mentioned, well, I needed to pad it out because I, I didn't find a lot. Don't, don't feel that way. I mean, a video is what it is, okay? And the minute you start putting content that you know isn't very good necessarily in your video, and I, when I say very good, look, I, I, don't, I don't mean it that way. I just mean you want the best of in your video. You're going to shoot a bunch of stuff on every video that doesn't, wind up making it it's on the cutting room floor and that's that's editing that's that's how it goes um so don't feel like a video has to be a certain length um because it doesn't so whether it's a minute whether it's 10 minutes whether it's 30 minutes if it's got engaging content throughout then that's how long it should be okay uh, I can't stress that enough because, again, I really feel like you probably on that other video, Rob, there might have been some great stuff in there, but you lost you lost probably 90% of the people by driving around for five minutes and not really showing us a lot, if that makes sense. Um, okay, yeah, Jelly Ducks loves the uh, transitions with the forehead. I, I, I love that too. I think that's so different and creative. I know a lot of people like to do the psh with the, the hand. Uh, you know, Rich Haney, one of my favorite YouTubers, he's a vlogger from the UK. If you guys don't know him, you should check him out. He always ends his videos with much love and then does one of these. And uh, <clears throat> um, so I don't really have a signature out. Maybe that's something I need to work on. Um, yeah, I'm with you, Rob, on fitting the music with the vid. And I think that's super important to a video has a feel, right? It has a mood. It has a um, a vibe, and you want your music to match that. So I do the same thing. I spend a, a fair amount of time um, searching through music and finding one that that really works. Uh, okay. Yeah. And by the way, uh, oh, it's a GoPro Seven. Okay. Yeah. No. No wonder. Yeah, that's a good camera. I could tell it's a high quality camera. 
The one thing about those GoPros, and this goes back to what Sally was saying, though, is the audio on them, in my opinion, is less than ideal. I have a I have a GoPro 4. Um, I don't count on it for audio. It just, it you know, it's not a, uh, a microphone that is directional. It just picks up everything. And so, like we were saying, when you're in the car, you're you're losing out on, um, on sound. I know that, uh, they actually make, um, external mics for those. Uh, a lot of people talk about the road R, R H O D E mics, um, that you might, maybe you have one Rob, uh, but th- that's something you might look into that can plug into the GoPro. Again, I think your videos, Rob, um, are your niche obviously is, is with the metal detecting and stuff, but your personality drives your videos, right? So really play that up. Um, utilize that personality to your advantage and, um, and edit, edit it to a point where we're getting the best of Rob, because I think there's plenty of good Rob in your shoots, right? So trim them down a little bit to where, as I'm watching it, man, I'm getting the best of, I'm getting all the good stuff. And there's, there's, you're not leaving me, you're not leaving me with an opportunity to leave, right? You're not giving me that, that two minutes of driving around where I'm like, okay, I'm done with this. I'm going to go find a video where they're actually on, you know, like digging stuff up. Um, so if you start doing that, I think you're going to see, I think you're going to see your view counts, um, skyrocket. I mean, you're doing fine as it is, but I think your retention will go up and your videos, you'll feel like better about your video, right? I hope that I helped a little bit. I look, I don't claim to be the, you know, the know all guy guy, you know, I do think that I offer a perspective, um, from a professional level that hopefully can help you guys out. And we can all learn together, you know? I mean, all of us bring to the table something different, something creative, something that maybe somebody else can use in their own unique way. And so that's why streams like this, I think have a lot of benefit to them because we can all, yeah, I'm gonna offer my opinion, but there might be somebody that says something in the chat that totally helps you out. And so that's awesome. Uh, Leave a thumbs up if you haven't already, guys, and subscribe uh, to both Rants with Rogers and my other channel, Media Authority. And in the meantime, you guys take care of yourselves. Enjoy those around you. A lot of us are stuck inside right now. And so, um, you know, just uh, make the best of it. Make some videos, and I'll watch them, okay?